The ABI test for peripheral arterial disease, PAD, has known issues. Drawback number one. ABI is known to be unreliable on patients with arterial calcification, also known as hardening of the arteries, which results in less or incompressible arteries, as the stiff arteries produce falsely elevated ankle pressure, giving false negatives. This is often found in patients with diabetes, and 41% of patients with peripheral arterial disease, PAD, have diabetes. It is also found in patients with renal failure or those who are heavy smokers. Drawback number two. Resting ABI is insensitive to mild PAD. Treadmill tests are sometimes used to increase ABI sensitivity, but this is unsuitable for patients who are obese or have comorbidities such as aortic aneurysm. Drawback number three. ABI is unreliable in patients who have undergone a mastectomy. Drawback number four, lack of protocol standardization, which reduces reliability. Drawback number five, skilled operators are required for consistent, accurate results. When performed in an accredited diagnostic laboratory, the ABI is a fast, accurate, and relatively painless exam, although some patients find blood pressure cuff monitoring to be uncomfortable. However, the drawbacks mentioned previously mean that ABI testing is unpopular in primary care offices, so symptomatic patients must be referred to specialty clinics for testing. Newer technology, such as the QuantaFlow system from Semler Scientific, has emerged that may be an improvement in terms of accuracy, ease of use, and patient comfort compared to traditional ABI.